Hello everyone, my name is Noor and my partner in this study is Jennifer and we're from the Fish Behavior Lab. Here is a brief introduction to What does it mean to be bold? Boldness is the tendency of an individual to take risk and shy behavior is characterized by an aversion to risk. Our model system for this study are Gumbuja Afnis fish. G. Afinis are members of the Posaliidae family. They are small, live-bearing, freshwater fish. G. Afinis is known as an invasive species, and due to this invasive nature, they are expected to exhibit more proactive behavior, which makes them a useful model system for studying behavioral differences in bold and shy individuals. We used three behavioral profile measures in this study. Boldness, go to taxes, and sociability assays. Our research questions aim to answer the following. Firstly, do proactive and reactive coping styles predict baseline anxiety, exploration, and sociality responses in geophonous fish? Secondly, are anxiety and exploratory responses consistent across boldness and scototaxis contexts among individuals? And thirdly, are coping styles to high stress environments correlated with social behavior and the sociality assay? The next section is methods. Our subjects were 36 adult female geophonous fish and they were put through three different behavioral assays. They first went through the boldness assay. The boldness assay has four different conditions which consists of an open field, a plant, and two different novel objects, a PVC pipe and a shiny fishing lure. Our study specifically focused on the open condition measures of boldness to measure the anxious versus exploratory responses of the focal fish. We then went into the scototaxis assay. This assay measures anxiety-related behavior using preference for a light or dark environment, as well as thigmotaxis, which is a fish's preference to hug the walls versus exploring the center of the tank. The last assay was the sociability assay. The sociability assay looks at an individual's shoaling tendencies by measuring their preference for spending time with a conspecific shoal group. In our figures and results section, we performed cross-behavior correlations in order to construct behavioral profiles. In the boldness versus sociability correlations, we looked at the proportion of time spent in open field thigmotaxis versus time spent with total shoal in sociability. The results were statistically significant since the p-value found from running a correlation test was less than or equal to 0 0.05. In the boldness versus scototaxis correlations, we looked at entries in open field condition versus entries in scototaxis, as well as proportion of time spent in open field thigmotaxis versus time spent in total thigmotaxis in scototaxis. Both results were found to be statistically significant as well. In conclusion, we found that our data helped us establish that coping styles can help predict behaviors. We found that sociability can be used as an anxiety measure and that activity levels and anxiety responses were consistent across both the boldness and scototaxis assays. This supports the existence of a shy bold behavioral syndrome in Gambusia afnis fish.